You are watching UNICEF Television. 23-year-old Ifra Abdullahi was in despair. She had become pregnant three times, but miscarried each time just a few months before she was due to give birth. When she became pregnant for the fourth time, her family suggested she went for help at the local maternal and child health centre in Aodal region in Somaliland. Now she can hardly believe she's the mother of a healthy five-month-old son, Ahmed Abshir Hassan. During my first pregnancy, I became ill and I lost the baby at six months. I did not go to the hospital. And during my second and third pregnancy, the same thing happened to me. But when I got pregnant for the fourth time, I visited the hospital when I was four months pregnant. My husband was devastated and he was always waiting for a child to be born. Ifra says if she'd known about the services at the health centre earlier, she might not have had those miscarriages. Ifra came here when she was four months pregnant and we checked her and realised she had high blood pressure. So we asked her to come twice a month for a checkup, and for the eighth and ninth month we monitored her weekly. When she got into labour we checked her cervix and found that it was too small for the baby to pass. Then we referred her to hospital where she went under caesarean section. Today, Ifra is walking to the health centre for postnatal care services. She's been visiting the clinic every month and has learned about the importance of exclusive breastfeeding as well as how to care for a baby. Now the midwife is giving her tips on the kind of food to give her son once he's six months old and other issues such as family planning. Since she had undergone cesarean section, I advised her not to get pregnant until two years. Now she's breastfeeding and a time will come when she will need family planning and I told her where to get it. I also told her when she gets pregnant again, she has to deliver in a hospital and not at home. Often, even when a pregnant Somali woman wants antenatal care or to give birth in a health facility, there is none available. UNICEF and its partners are scaling up efforts with the support of the European Union to reduce the high rate of maternal mortality. Referral hospitals and maternal and child health centres across Somaliland and Puntland have been upgraded and provided with emergency obstetric and neonatal care facilities. I believe 80% of women who could have died during delivery at home have been saved by the health centers. I'd like to thank UNICEF and donors for their work because women used to deliver beyond those mountains and there was no one to help them. But now there is transport to bring them here to deliver. The upgrading of health facilities, provision of medical supplies and training of workers is combined with social mobilization to make the women aware of the importance of antenatal care, of giving birth in a health centre or hospital, and of coming in for postnatal visits. And it seems that slowly but surely, the message is getting through. This is Susanna Price reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to www.unicef.org. Unite for Children.